All right, so this is Five Churches Brewing. This is uh, Tony Leone's house. Or should we do it like um, this? <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of pew pew. Oh. So this is a hazy, unfiltered New England style IPA. Comes in at six point eight percent ABV, and I don't think they. Uh, well, they say they've got Citra and Simcoe hops. Yep. And that's it. That's about it. I actually I messaged the uh, the brewer before we went on air, and he was saying that you know he kind of keeps his recipes kind of close to the vest, but mentioned that he keeps the grain bill simple as to not detract from the hops, and uses plenty of cara foam. Uh, to maintain a semi-decent body without being overly sweet or thick. All right. So let's crack it. This is in a one-pint can. Carafoam sounds like some kind of mattress filler. <laughs> <laughs> there's Euro top, uh, there's memory foam, and then Pillow there's Carafoam. And then there's Carafoam. <laughs> so we've got our official Five Churches pint glasses, courtesy of oh, yes. one Tony Leone. Yeah, I am drinking out of uh, a buddy of mine that's one of the owners of Five Churches had a uh, bachelor party weekend a couple of years ago, and we each got pint glasses that have his face on it, so in honor of him, I'll be drinking out of this glass. <laughs> right. Shout out to Phil for hiring me. <laughs> so it pours out. I thought it was going to be hazier, but uh, it's not very hazy. Do you guys have haze? Yeah, mine's pretty hazy. Maybe I didn't get. Maybe some of it's uh, settled it's at the in bottom. The it's a gradual uh -huh. kind of, you know, it's lighter at the bottom and then. I mean, considering there are IPAs out there that look like straight up or, milkshake, like, I yeah, mean, or I guess it is. Juice. Right. All right, there we go. I had a little bit of haze at the bottom of the can still, so. Oh, baby, little, that's uh, just sediment. Flavor crystals in the bottom. Yeah. So now I got some haze. It's like a light orange color. Man, that aroma is just like yeah. citrus. Bing! That'll wake you up in the morning. Oh, yeah. Got some orange peel. Bright. Maybe a little bit of pineapple. Like mm -hmm. a skunky orange. <laughs> Man. It's just that musty That's fruity. hoppiness. That's when you see something. Yeah, I get a lot of like citrus and and a little, so a little bit of the oh, tropical. Mm. But there is some like a little bit of orange peel in there too. A little bit of floral, I think. Mm -hmm. I know. That's very fragrant. Speaking of fragrant, I was at Sea World yesterday with the kids, and they had Carl Strauss on tap. At one of the little snack bars. Speaking of fragrant, that Shamu, jeez. <laughs> I was and downwind the, yesterday, and man. <laughs> the girl poured the cup, and she set it down, on, and I could smell it. Like, as soon as she, from like, you know, three feet away, I was like, yeah. whoa, I could smell that from here. Yeah. The beer? The beer, yeah. The beer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not the, uh. No. squid that they're feeding the <laughs> dolphins or anything yeah. so yeah let's take a sip this is smells yeah. delicious yeah, the 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 aroma it's great it's nice and and got a citrusy bright smell mm -hmm. to it it's uh it's 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 like some like a citrus zest you know yeah right yeah and a pineapple it's a peach Hmm. Yeah, it's turning a little towards the pineapple, huh? Now that, right, the head, uh, now that the head's gone, I'm getting a little bit more of a right, pineapple -iness. I gotta take a sip, yeah. Whoa. <clears throat> it's not as um it's, New it's not as soft as I was expecting. <laughs> it's got a it's got a nice little bite to it pretty sharp yeah yeah I, I, mine's pretty uh bubbly i don't know about you guys 
Yeah, it 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 ha- it's a little bit more carbonated than I was expecting. Mm. Um, but I like that because I'll have to say a lot of these New England IPAs I've had lately are is really kind of yeah almost too juicy and and there's not enough carbonation in there you know. Ooh, I gave my can a little bit of a swirl and yep this thing just clouded up. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Time. Mm. <clears throat> a little bit more of a, obviously a bready smell to it as well. Now that that's swinging, it leaves you. It it actually has a dry, somewhat of a yeah. dry finish. Almost kind of like a champagne, like dryness. Mm-hmm. Like maybe the uh, the effervescence. There's even like a earthy piney in the aftertaste. Hmm. Or it's maybe it's the it's the um, it's the peel. It's like the the zest. Yeah. It's kind of has that like right. little, little bit, bit of, of pith, a bitter zest. Like a pithiness. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get too much pine. I, I, I usually like a. Like no, I'm a, not getting pine really at all. No, I, th- I think I corrected <clears throat> myself. I think it's uh, <laughs> I think it's more of a zest than a pine. I know it's completely different, but yeah. It has a very like you said dry. It has a clean finish. It doesn't yeah. linger at all. <clears throat> yeah, I think that carbonation helps kind of dry it up. You know, it's a little bit more prickly and kind of um, dries everything up so it's not so um, juicy. Oh. There have it's been got, some... It's got a nice, fresh, hoppiness to it, though. See, now I'm getting peach... <clears throat> yeah, you're right. Yeah, not really. Yeah, a little bit like almost like um, peach or like a nectarine or something because mm-hmm. it's got it's a little bit um, it's a it's a little bit m- more bitter than a peach, you know. Yeah. Hmm. You guys have any food pairings? Ooh. What do I want with this? Well, I tell you, I, I went to dinner this evening, and they had a, uh, what I ordered was a cider cider chicken. And it was like a, a, a chicken with like a cider glaze. Had like a, a cranberry walnut stuffing and stuff with it, and... I know this isn't typically what you would have with a, you know, like a Thanksgiving style, but this was a little bit different because there was it had a little bit more herbs and spices kind of uh, in the dish, and something like this, you know, that citrus and then with the cranberries and stuff. I I don't know. I, that's only because I've had I ordered it for dinner and ate, had it tonight. And it's, it's what I've had most recently. I think that this beer would go uh, pretty well with it. Because I had a Stone IPA with it, and I thought that that was a little bit too much. I think I, I you know, needed something a little bit more like this, a little, some more citrus in it. It'd be wrong for me not to pair this with the pizza that we have at Five Churches. Uh, we have a special every week. Um, all sorts of crazy pizzas. Uh, I didn't realize that was a thing in your neck of the woods. This whole wood-fired pizza thing. Yeah. Um, I I didn't know that was your thing down there. You know. We went to Brewport and we had some. Oh yeah. Uh, that's where they took us because uh, we got there a little bit later than expected and and had some pizza there. Did you get the? Uh, my favorite pizza there is the Korean barbecue, and you put you get a side of kimchi with it too. Oh yeah. Yeah, we had whatever the special pizza was. We we ordered like three. There was six of us, and we ordered like three pizzas, which was ridiculous, because we had you know I think we only finished half of everything. Um, we had the the special, which was like a some kind of strange pasta pizza, but it was fantastic. It had like pasta on it with basil and sausage and garlic, and it was, it was great. 
and then two other ones, which I can't <laughs> think of right now. But this is good stuff. Nice. But go ahead. Uh, explain go more. Five Churches Pizza. <laughs> Sorry. Five Churches. Uh, we have a wood-fired <laughs> oven there as well. Uh, one of my favorite specials that we have, that we, we've had there in the past, we'll have a special every week. It's called the Big Mike, and it's their takeoff <laughs> of a Big Mac uh, from McDonald's. It's got uh, uh, special sauce, uh, lettuce, cheese, no pickles, uh, onions, and like hamburger meat and sesame seeds. It, it's straight up like a Big Mac. It is delicious. <laughs> McDowell's. And it is so good. Big, the Big Mike. The Big Mike. That's what I'm going to pair this with. Nice. See, now I'm mic. thinking spicy, but like uh, Asian spicy, something light and like not super, like not a ton of heat, but a nice, you know, Asian spicy something, you know, like, uh, oh, what is it? What's the, it's like, like the flat, the, no, like the flat noodles and the, like drunken noodles. Maybe I'm thinking Thai food. I guess yeah, it's just like Thai. Thai food's good, like pad yeah. thai or something. Yeah, pad thai. That's what I'm thinking. So something like that, but not too hot. But you know, something light and you know, I don't know if this cit- if this is citrusy enough to go with something that I don't know. But I I don't know. The first thing I thought of was spicy mm. Asian, so something like a pad thai. Cool nice. beans. Yeah. So you have I love, it. I'll tell you, I love the aroma. It's, yeah. Yeah. Sniff it all day. It has like a. It's pretty fresh too. Like it's. Yeah. <clears throat> there's definitely nothing stale about it, and there's nothing. Um, yeah, like it's the the hop flavor. <clears throat> is good. And I figured, you know, I don't know how your uh, pint glass collection is doing, but, I, you know, we've always wanted to, if you need an excuse to drink out of a pint glass, you know. Yeah. I figured oh, I'd yeah. send one out to you guys. For sure. Bring it, bringing back the pint glass. <laughs> nice. <laughs> On Untapped, the Pew Pew from Five Churches comes in at a 4.02. My goodness. Nice. Now, out of 1,673 ratings. Are you on the page right now? Are you I on am, untapped? and I see two very familiar faces that are the <laughs> loyal drinkers of the Pew Pew. <laughs> uh. Tony's got one sniff Katie beat by two check-ins, and now he's going to have a third. I'm going to have a third. Uh, the top four, I'm going to go with four because there's only four, po- popular locations to enjoy this beverage. The Butterfly Chinese Restaurant in West Hartford, Connecticut. The Star Wars The Old Republic in Marlboro, Connecticut. Oh, that's not a place. The CJ Sparrow in Cheshire, Connecticut. And the New Britain Museum of American Art in New Britain, Connecticut. <laughs> Excellent. I bet the Star Wars The Old Republic is, uh, let's see, who's the number one? drinker is alice b's house (laughs) sounds about right you're gonna be tied with alice b after this if you check it in i am checking it in see yeah Yeah, i know do you know alice Alice? uh i do not know alice b you should friend her yeah you need to know her Ooh, maybe i do know alice b because she is a mug club member as i click on it ah this was pew pew. I think I just got into untapped, fellas. Alice B. Well, it's about time. It's Only about seven, time. eight, nine There's years There's actually behind? a beer called pew pew pew, so they one upped you. Yeah. <laughs> An extra pew. Hmm. All right, folks, Five Churches. Let's see, what's their website? Fivechurchesbrewing.com is their website. This is the Pew Pew IPA, and we are a Beer Coasters podcast. Up next, oh Tony's got something to say. No, I was just gonna. I was. I was giving you like the guns. He was like, doing the oh, buddy okay. Jesus. The Pew Pew. <laughs> oh. I don't know if you if you mentioned it, but uh, we're we're approaching our one year anniversary as well. Oh, oh. nice. Yeah. 
there's an anniversary brew in the makings, some sort of barrel aged something, right? There's things in barrels. I don't know what they're gonna release when, but uh, I'm sure it'll be delicious whenever it comes out. Yeah, I'm a sucker for barrel stuff. <laughs>